back to Scottish Hero. And since last episode, we have finally managed to turn around the bad stint. And we have gotten two straight wins. The first game was against one of the weaker teams in the league. And I think that was good. Because uh, playing one of the weaker teams uh, at home, even though we didn't play well, we managed to win it. And that was good for the morale. Then for the second game, actually, we played uh, Motherwell, and as you know, they are one of the best teams in the league. And we played fantastic, managed to beat them away, and uh, that was one of the best games of the season. We completely dominated it, they barely had a single highlight. And yeah, we, we basically dominated big time. And today, we have two big games coming up. First is Queen of the South, they currently have, I believe, two points from uh, playoff position, so they are definitely a huge... Uh, Competitor to us, especially since we are playing them away, it's not going to be easy. And then we have Air, and Air is uh, having a pretty bad season. But as you know, they are our, our old rivals from from last season, and we never have had an easy game against them. Last game ended with a draw, and we need to do it even better now to to be able to perform and to be able to fight for the playoff positions. And of course, we are still missing out a few players. Uh, Wilson uh, is starting to come back from his injury, our best uh, central defender, but he's not back yet. And of course, Kessler sees uh, game over. We won't be seeing him any anymore with his 14-month uh, injury. But other than that, we kind of have the best team. I'm trying to find a right midfielder, because we need it desperately since Kessler's big injury. Because what we have is, uh, is definitely uh, not good enough when it comes to quality. Uh, but right now we don't have any choice. The good thing is that we only have uh, three lone players currently, which uh, makes room for another, like a fourth lone player, because you're allowed to have four, uh, four lone players at the same time. But that doesn't matter if if you can't find anybody. That won't help us at all. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm scouting like a madman, because we really need it. Because without Kessler's, our right flank is so much weaker. He wasn't great because we played him in kind of wrong role trying to retrain him but it was still so much better than every other option we currently have in the club but yeah it's game on and uh, it's snowing here when stanton advances for easton easton back to stanton stanton breaks through and he takes the shot and oh it was really really close robinson in their goal just managed to tip it uh, to a corner and here's stanton with a corner and uh, that one gives Robinson a lot less trouble. And uh, here's Robinson again. Takes it out. Long, long, long way. And uh, that was really bad for us. Really, really bad. And it's off the bar. We are getting a little bit lucky there. Because that was really close for Queen of the South. And this is bad news. We have an injury. Ryan Brandt is out. And now we can only pray to the football manager, RNG guards, that he won't be out for long. Because, uh, I mean, we don't have the squad depth. We don't have the weight. We don't have the possibility to rotate a lot of players. We need the few we have. And here is a Bard. He just got subbed, replacing after the injury. And um, not good enough. He kind of got a little bit out of the angle there on the right side. But still, it was a very good chance. And he probably should have done it uh, better. Stanton puts it into the box again. Oh, this is a good shot for Malaga. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty decent challenge there by Malaga. Good shot, but uh, not good enough. And we haven't yet another corner here. Clear by the defense. And this time, no, it's Stanton actually wins it for Malaga. Dowling, Easton, and uh, it's intercepted. Thanks is getting turned around. His Queen of South, and they are attacking with many, many players. And uh, could turn out to become really dangerous. Come on, lads. But luckily for us, that was really, really bad. And um, yeah, I'm not complaining. And it's half time. It's been quite a lot of things going on, but uh, I haven't seen any goals yet. And hopefully, we can be the one who steps it up during the second half and start scoring. Because yeah, we need the points. As you know, we need the points and we need them. Desperately, and that's not the way we're gonna take points if you're gonna give it away like that. This is going to be very, very, very dangerous. And a beautiful save there by McCallum, but it's not over. 
There's some more coming up here, and that's finally a good, good clearance. But still, even though that ball went far, far away, it comes back quickly. Jones intercepted it, though. And he just bounces it up, and it just bounces back and forward. Back and forward, and that's bad from Easton, losing that challenge. And it's going to be really dangerous, and it's just still with the top bar there. Jones with a throw in. Reed. Dowling, back to Jones, Dowling, and that was weak by Easton, come on, we should be able to intercept this, don't give them a chance now lads. A good interception there by McLaughlin, and he's barred, maybe we can turn it around, it's Easton, and look at that pass for Dowling, 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 and what a beauty! What a beautiful, extremely important goal. It's actually Downing's first goal of the season. So, uh, perfect timing doing that in a, such a close game as this one. Could be a turn out to become a very, very important goal in the end. Uh, if we manage to take three points here, it's, uh, it gives us a really, really good position. Because, uh, as I said before the game, Queen of the South, they are just, just behind the playoff positions. So uh, they are definitely a close uh, uh, enemy, if you want to call them like that, fighting for for that um, playoff position, and and we we want to play off a position badly, so so we need to do well here. And we have something coming up here, Stanton, Bard, focus, 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 don't lose it. Dowling, is he going for another one? He's, well, uh, didn't get enough power into that one to create any real danger, but uh, still glad we are creating chances. Here's Stanton. And that was a bit optimistic, Stanton, a little bit optimistic. Uh, trying to just run through all their players. No, uh, it's not over yet. Queen of the South advances. Come on, lads. Don't lose this one. Don't lose this one, Martin. Good. But it might come back quickly. Come on, lads. Good inception there by Malaga. McLaughlin. Where is this highlight heading? Still not sure. Dowling. Stanton. Bard. And... Free kick. This highlight is going on for ages. What's up with it? Will something come out of it? Easton with the free kick. Puts into the box. And no trouble at all for Robinson. And uh, what will happen here? Oh. I must have made a mistake because we are not live. So let's return to live action. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I must have uh, clicked some button to... Uh, Make us basically look at the game forever. But now we should be back live. So hopefully something more interesting is going to happen then. And maybe I should start it. I'm not sure what I'm up to right now. Doing some stupid stuff. Uh, but yeah, now finally things is working the way it should. And we have one last sub to do. And Dowling has had a great game. Easton has had a ga great game. I think we should go with Easton. They've both been playing very, very well today. But they are really tired also. And they are important players. So we want to have fit legs on the pitch. And we want to rotate our best players so they stay fit. And uh, here's Queen of South, maybe McCallum. Clearance, but oh, that must, looked like an offside. Now I'm very worried. Oh, that must have been offside. Please tell us that was an offside. It's not an offside. I need to see the replay. It really felt like an offside, but maybe I'm mistaken. And that would, of course, be devastating conceding a goal with only very few minutes. And we get to see from an angle, it's very hard to tell. I think it wasn't offside. This is really bad news for us. This is not what we needed. Look at the clock, four minutes left of ordinary playing time. Um, that was a huge blow, and I'm very, really not, very much not pleased. 
Um, yeah, it's always extra rough conceding a goal with just a few minutes left. So not pleased at all. And the lads, they need to know it. I'm not happy. We should have done better. And uh, I mean, if we would have won, it would give us a nice save to Martin Towns to Queen of the, the South. And now they are still very much in it and they're going to be a huge competitor for us. But now let's move forward to Air. And as you can see, Air is having a really shitty season. But you all know our history with Air. A game against Air is usually never easy for us. Always a rough challenge. So it's, um, we, we can't take it lightly. So, so let's get on to the, to the Air game. And uh, luckily for us, Wilson is finally back. He's still lacking match fitness though. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's our best defender, so I'm glad to having him back. Uh, the injury Brunt got during last game was unfortunately kind of pretty bad. And he's out for almost two months, which means he's going to miss like most of uh, the rest of the season. Um, but maybe he can come back a little bit earlier, you never know. But I think it was like seven weeks or something like that. But yeah, we can just hope uh, he gets back a little bit quicker and and probably going to be like in some international breaks and so on. So uh, maybe it's not going to miss that many games if, if we are a bit lucky. But yeah, this is the air game and we need to win it. We need to win it. But you know... Air has been a huge, huge rival to us, giving us so much trouble during uh, the last season and and even during this season. So I'm not taking anything for granted, but we are definitely here to win it. We are playing at home, and they are in the bottom part of the league. It's a team we should be taking three points against if we want to be fighting for for a good position in the league table. But uh, whenever I say things like that, football manager tend to punish me. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Maybe we should actually have gone attacking from the start because take control. Instead, they are attacking. This turns out to be really dangerous. It's just outside the post. So uh, a really good chance there for, for air just off the kickoff. But yeah, this is a game we need to be winning it. But uh, with our history against air. We never had an easy games against them, but his stand with a corner. Okay, but the defense though, McLaughlin picks it up. What will he do? Goes for Martin, all the way back to Jones. Dowling, Reed, Jones, Stanton, Easton, back to Stanton. Stanton advances. He kind of breaks through, and that was pretty, pretty, like not dangerous at all for them unfortunately we can use this of course we are creating something but yeah that wasn't a big chance and the clocks keep on ticking and that makes me nervous we can't afford another draw especially not against the team in the bottom part of leagues we need points here and we need it desperately if you look at the league table right now Falkir is overtaking us so this is not a good result for us Maybe we can create something here just before half time. Here's Stanton. Here's Stanton, but that was one of the easier saves of Kelly's career. He um, just had to pick it up, so not sure why the game showed us that. This was as a highlight because it was definitely not a highlight. Uh, but I'm not happy. The lads need to know it. And for the second half, we're going to come out attacking. It's time to step it up. We need three points. Anything else would be a failure. In our current situation, we need we need a good result. Can't afford not getting a good result here. And his dowling. And it's intercepted. It's going to be a fro oh, wait, wait. Something happened over there, and it's going to be a card. And they already have one, which means it's going to be a red card. But I'm not quite sure what happened. Was something that happened like kind of away from the game? And his Eastern with a free kick. And it just bounces back. But we are now in a one-man advantage against them. And that's, of course, a very good news. But we still need to start creating things. And right now, we are not. It's time to change our tactics. Time to go 4-4-2. And uh, we are going to do it by bringing in 
Mr. Smith has an attacking forward here. And other than that, we have a few places not having great games. Uh, Baird is one of them, but we really can't sub him. Let's see who else. Uh, somebody that we actually can sub is Weeds. Let's do that and bring in Linton. And also we're going to try to speed things up a little bit with... Uh, we're actually already playing more direct passes, so uh, we don't need to do that then. Yeah, we are going to go overload. We, we are in it to win it. It's McCallum with a goal kick. Back to McLaughlin. Stanton, Malaga. Malaga advances on the right flank. And weak challenge, really weak challenge there by Malaga. And uh, Air is turning things around, maybe. Martin, back to Malaga. Malaga gets another try, see if he can pass his defender this time. And it's an early cross. And it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. And uh, Linton steps up to take the penalty. And this is very, very important because we haven't been playing great and we need three points and it's a goal and we are definitely not overloading anymore. We are going to go standard. We're not going to try to control it because um, trying to control it increases the chance of counterattacks, of course. But yeah, Linton makes no mistakes. And it's, it's time for our last sub. And uh, let us go the tactics come on game because what I want to do is we are going back to uh, to this formation as is Baird been playing very bad he's the lad we are going to uh, to replace and bring in Flores instead and of course I misclicked it it's not Smith we want to replace it's Flores and uh, Smith is going to be an advanced forward. And uh, now we can try to slow things down. We're going to try to retain the possession. And uh, yeah, like that. Nine minutes until full time. Here's Linton with a free kick. Goes into the box. No trouble at all for Kelly though. What will he do from here? What will happen? Oh, look at this, guys! Look at this! This is insane! This is crazy! This is madness! This is one of the easiest goals of Jung Smith's career. But what is Kelly doing? Is he on crack? Is he drunk? What's going on? Let me know in the comments. Do you think he's on crack? Or do you think he's drunk? Or maybe he's just plain stupid? Or may maybe, maybe, maybe somebody... Uh, a big Clyde fan out there bribed him. That's also a possi possibility. Maybe some big gambler paid him to take <laughs> to to give us the win, so he could win a lot of money from uh, uh, some betting system. But yeah, we are winning with two goals against none. But we definitely didn't play well. That last goal was just handed to us to us, and the first one it just came out from uh, from. Uh, Penalty, but I'm gonna say well just to keep the morale up, but uh, don't, don't tell the players this is our secret and the secret is I am really not pleased with that game We definitely should have done better and uh, Yeah, taking a look at the other result Falkir managed to win so uh, They are just one point after us like really really close Motherwell also managed to win so they are in ahead of us and uh, Queen of the South managed to win so they are keeping track here of uh, the playoff positions. But we got it. We got the result we needed. It wasn't a great game, but we got the result. And that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, press that like button if uh, you enjoyed the series. And I'll see you in the next episode.